IELTS Practice Tests Plus 2 CD 2 Test 3 Section 1 You will hear a woman, Paula, phoning her friend Ralph about an application to the local council for money for their drama club. First, you have some time to look at questions 1 to 3 on page 66. You will see that there is an example which has been done for you. On this occasion only, the conversation relating to this will be played first. Hello? Ralph, it's Paula. Hi. You know I told you we could apply to the local council for money for our drama club. I've got the application form here but we need to get it back to them by the end of the week. I could send it on to you. You really ought to fill it in as president of the club, but I don't know if it'll get to you in time. Well, you're the secretary, so I expect it's OK if you fill it in. Yeah, but I'd really like to check it together. Right, that's fine. Knight, the first part asks for the main contact person. Can I put you there? Sure. Right, so that's Ralph Pearson. The man's name is Ralph Pearson, so Ralph Pearson has been written in the space. Now we shall begin. You should answer the questions as you listen, because you will not hear the recording a second time. Listen carefully and answer questions one to three. Hello? Ralph, it's Paula. Hi. You know I told you we could apply to the local council for money for our drama club. I've got the application form here, but we need to get it back to them by the end of the week. I could send it on to you. You really ought to fill it in as president of the club, but I don't know if it'll get to you in time. Well, you're the secretary, so I expect it's OK if you fill it in. Yeah, but I'd really like to check it together. Right, that's fine. Knight, the first part asks for the main contact person. Can I put you there? Sure. Right, so that's Ralph Pearson. Oh, and then I need your contact address. So that's 203 South Road, isn't it? No, 230. Oh, sorry, I always get that wrong. <laughs> then it's Drayton. Oh, do you think they need a postcode? Better put it, it's DR68AB. Mm -hmm, OK. Telephone number, that's 01453 isn't it? Yes. Right. Now, in the next part of the form, I have to give information about our group. So, name of group, that's easy. We're the Community Youth Theatre Group. But then I have to describe it. So, what sort of information do you think they want? Well, they need to know we're amateurs, not professional actors. And how many members we've got. What's that at present? 20? 18. And should we put in the age range that's 13 to 22? No, I don't think we need to. But we'd better put a bit about what we actually do. Something like members take part in drama activities. Activities and workshops? OK. Right. That's all for that section, I think. You now have some time to look at questions 4 to 10 on page 66.
Now listen and answer questions four to ten. Now the next bit is about the project itself, what we're applying for funding for. So first of all, they need to know how much money we want. The maximum's five hundred pounds. I think we agreed we'd ask for two fifty, didn't we? Okay. There's no point in asking for too much. We'll have less chance of getting it. Then we need to say what the project, um, the activity is. Right. So we could write something like, to produce a short play for young children. Should we say it's interactive? Yes. Good idea. Right. I've got that. Then we have to say what we actually need the money for. Isn't that it? No, we have to give a breakdown of details. I think. Well, there's the scenery. But we're making that. We need to buy the materials, though. Oh, okay. Then there's the costumes. Right. That's going to be at least fifty pounds. Okay. And what else? Oh, I just found out we have to have insurance. I don't think it'll cost much, but we need to get it organised. Yes. I'd forgotten about that, and we could be breaking the law if we don't have it. Good thing we've already got curtains in the hall. At least we don't have to worry about that. Hmm. We'll need some money for publicity. Otherwise, no one will know what we're doing. And then a bit of money for unexpected things that come up. Just put sundries at the end of the list. Okay, fine. Now the next thing they want to know is if they give us the grant, how they'll be credited. What do they mean credited? I think they mean how we'll let the public know that they funded us. They want people to know they've supported us. It looks good for them. Hmm. Well, we could say we'd announce it at the end of the play. We could make a speech or something. Ah,、uh, they might prefer to see something in writing. We'll be giving the audience a program, won't we? So we could put an acknowledgement in that. Yeah, that's a better idea. Okay. And the last thing they want to know is if we've approached any other organisations for funding and what the outcome was. Well, only National Youth Services, and they said that at present funds were not available for arts projects. Right. I'll put that. And then I think that's it. I'll get that in the post straight away. I really hope we get the money. I think we've got a pretty good chance. Hope so, anyway. Thanks for doing all this, Paula. That's okay. See you soon. Bye. Bye. That is the end of section one. You now have half a minute to check your answers.